Hey, shalom, 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 shalom. 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 All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakodash. Our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth. So we went out to teach earlier, and you know, the phone was overeaten, and the, the video just kept cutting. And you know, we actually have thoughts up to our, about our how or so, you know. But you know, the spirit just you know prompted me to go check the the recording, and I saw that you know. Um, it has stopped for over 30 minutes so well we just decided to come sit in a park and you know try to conclude the lesson so the lesson we were speaking about earlier the lesson we were speaking about earlier was you know you know putting your trust in the most high yahaba shem yahushai and not putting your trust in men okay for these days that are coming you really need the trust to trust only on the most high yahaba shem yahushai because men are just flesh and blood. They have nothing to offer you, you know? They have no help that they have to offer you that the most I cannot do way better, you know? So, go on if you have a precept. Yeah, like the brother was saying, you know, we need to put our trust in the name of the Lord, you know? It's a marvelous thing, like I was saying before. It's a marvelous thing for us to live in a time like this, knowing the name of the Lord, you know, knowing not only knowing the name, knowing what it requires from the name. You know, it's not just about knowing you have about your shy. It's about knowing what it requires. Now, let know? me give you a precept. Mm -hmm. Knowing what the Most High requires, just like the brother said, you know, we just don't only need to know the name, but we should know what it requires, exactly. you know, because the name is actually the key to unlocking the whole mysteries, you know. First, the fear of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, is the key to unlocking the mysteries. Okay, so when you have the fear of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, He reveals Himself to you by giving you, giving you the knowledge of His name, the name of His Son, you know. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. You know, this is verse 13. It quotes, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Hashem Shai and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Yeah, as the brothers just read, you know, the whole duty of man is to keep the will of the heavenly father you know the will of the heavenly father is to follow the law you know for us to live there is a law we can't be like a beast like i was speaking before the camera i caught you know when you take a look at wildlife you know animals lion in the jungle you know they can't coexist uh, together with each other because they eat up their self they have no law but within their self in different species you know they have the law within their own self so we are to look towards look like these people you know we can't live like them this is why the heavenly father gave us law you know but these days now we have you know we don't go by the law we're not like a beast we're not like the animals you know look at the world we live everything is messing up we are live like animals the awasha is told us that if you love me you should keep my commandment you know and Khan, this is a precept for you Khan. you know if you, you know you want to Mm -hmm. I have a precept for you to mm -hmm. back what you just said, you know, speaking about the laws of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. He quotes, This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as live it shall die. Yeah, you see, this is so we get to keep the law. The law is the truth, you know. You can't live without the law. Living without the law is like living like an animal. Can't. We're not an animal, we're not a beast, we're not like Esau. Even Esau has some, you know, and a little bit of rules. So we can't be like Esau, you know. So this is, this is uh, Psalm 119 verse 142. It says, Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. You see, this, this scripture keeps speaking about law, law, law. This is what brought us to our knees where we are today, because we fell out from law. You know, we refuse to keep the commandment. Commandment is life. It's the way to life. You know, uh, the scripture and said that the, the wages of sin is death, death. But the gift, the gift of, of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is eternal is life, life. Everlasting. You know, for us to live, we're supposed to be like God. The scripture said that we, we are God, we, we die like man. You know, so for us to live like God, you know, that was we're going to, we have laws. We need laws that will that will abide us. You know, this is uh, this is also what join us together with the most high this is what keeps us apart from the rest of the world the laws as you speak in uh, i think deuteronomy chapter four you know 
So, so I was talking about trust earlier. This is um, this is some twenty verse seven. He says, "Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God." Can. This is the hardcore of our faith. The name, you know. So. It's a marvelous thing once again living in this end time knowing the name of our lord which we once remember the scripture says when we return we will remember the name of the lord and we will call upon him and he will deliver us uh -huh. you know, the scripture says that uh, no, the scripture says that call me in the days of trouble and i will deliver you and you will glorify me you know so i know a lot of people like uh, iuyc they are going around saying that there's when i was coming to the two there's this uh, video that I watched, they said that uh, one of their members said that you can call him, you'll play your God. <laughs> but you can imagine. So Those even your own father, people, your own father that gave birth to you, you can't even call him, you'll play your God. But the almighty creator, the everlasting being who created heaven and earth, can just, you know, call him, you'll play your God. So this is embarrassing, you know. It's how, how to tell who really served the Lord and who don't. As the scripture told us in Malachi chapter 3, when you return, you shall discern between him that serve the Lord and him that serve him not, you know? So, we ought to trust in the name of the Lord our God. You have Hashim, you have Khan, this is the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 17. Okay, yeah, verse 5. Verse, um, well, I'll read verse 5, then I'll read 7. It says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, caused to be the man that trusted in man, and make flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the lord mm. so all these people that are making esau their arm that are going to seek refuge from esau in which we're going to get the book of um, isaiah 31 um all these people that are you know bowing down to this image you know bringing out their arms and getting juiced up you know the most high yahaba shem yahushai is going to destroy you because that thing is just going to you know prepare your body to the next step which is you know the MOTB, you know. So, cost are the men who put their trust in in men, you know. And it says in verse seven, "Blessed is the man, is the man that trusted in the Lord Yahbashem Yahushai, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and shall spread, and that spreadeth out a root by the river, and shall not see when the heat cometh." But our leaves shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruits. So those of us who put our trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, in which that's what we really need to do in these times that we are actually into, you know, because this is the time of, you know, of putting your total trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. As we read from the book of Daniel 12, 1, that tells you that there is a time that is ne like never before, time of great tribulation, you know. So it's telling us that we shall be as a tree planted by the rivers of water. What happens to a tree that is planted by water, you know? It gets nutrition continuously, you know? And this is, these are the words, you know, just like the book of Isaiah 33 tells you that, you know, these, these words shall be the stability of that time, you know? This is what is going to, you know, nourish us during the time of trouble because we put our trust in these words, you know, and we know the capacity of our power. It's the same power that, you know, got us out of the captivity of the Egyptians. It is the same power that fought all our wars for us. We went to fight um, in the city of Jericho. We didn't even lift up a sword. And they, we just screamed in the name of the Most High Yahaba Shem Yahushai. And the walls killed all our enemies, you know. So we are putting our trust in this power. This power that made us here today. Not in these damn men, you know. These men, they have nothing but death to kill you, to give you, you know. So go on, bro. Okay, like what you just said, let me back it up with this scripture. Speak out. Uh, hold on. And we always bring these scriptures out, you know. So it's very, very important because we need, it, 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 we need to walk according to the spirits. Can. Book, you know, this is Sirach chapter 2 verse 10. Look at the generation of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Can. Or did any abide in his fear? And was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Can we all know the answer is no? Can you know the, the, the there is the, no one that called upon the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai and he was despised, exactly. or, or he was he was let down, you know? 
So, you know, this book, you know, uh, according to the book of uh, me, you say things that are written are written for, yeah. uh, for, for, for four times, times yeah. are written for our learning, you know. So he's asking you, people that have called upon the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all the people that have lived, all these prophets, you know, that have been doing the work for the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, none of them has ever been let down, you know. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has always, you know, proven himself time after time to be a, a solid power to to rest on, you know. Yeah, well, I gave it back to you. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm done. I think I'm done with this. Can so, you know. Okay, let me go, let me go on with this. Yeah, if level. you go on, yeah. He said, "For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiving sins and save save in time of affliction." Can the Most High is always going to save you in time of affliction? The Most High is very merciful, man. You know we shouldn't get it wrong. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is merciful. If he is the creator of mercy, if he is the creator of pleasure, if he is the creator of knowledge of everything, man. Imagine if, just like the scripture says, if a man can, can be nice to his own child and give him bread in the time of his need, give him water in his time of his need, how much more the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, yeah. you know? The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai knows what we need. But yet, yeah, don't get it confused. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is terrible and is going, to, is going to wage his judgment on those who go against him and those who don't put their trust on him, you know? Just like what do you do to your child if he's going wrong? You know, you spank him and bring his, his knowledge back to, 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 to what he's doing and let him understand that what he's doing is wrong. So the Most High doesn't take nonsense, you know? Don't get it wrong. The Most High is not the all-loving um, Chesere Boja image that, you know, Esau has always fed our people with. The Most High Yahba Shem Shai is very terrible, you know? If you mess around, man, you get, you get, you get judged, man. Your life gets taken, man. The Most High Yahba Shem Shai is not to be joked with man remember what happened to the to, to the sons of Korah you know they were going against Moses the ground opened up and swallowed them man the most high is terrible man so that's why we really need to fear the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and knowing these things knowing the terribleness of the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai you get to start you know having that fear towards him and this fear is what gives you wisdom knowledge and understanding man yeah. Go on. like the brother was saying about you know most high being faithful you know, as we were saying before in Sirach chapter 2 verse 10, this, this is Matthew 7 verse 11. It says, If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, can give good gifts to them that ask, ask him? Can. It is also written in the, in, in the scriptures right there that, you know, ask and it shall be given, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened, you know. The Most High is willing to give. His hands are not drawn back, man. Yep. His hands are always right there, ready to save you, you know, ready to be with you. So anyway, we're actually saying all these things because, you know, shit are really trying, getting really heated up here in Italy. You know, we're actually at the point in which, you know, the brothers right here in Italy, the GMS Italia camp, none of us actually is going, going to work, you know. We actually dropped our jobs, man, because we don't really give a heck, man. We can't be preaching what we don't, what we're not putting into 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 practice, you know. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they're saying they say practice what you preach. Practice what you preach, you, you know? know. We put uh, we put our trust in the name of can't. the Lord. We believe He will He will He will uh, provide, provide for, for us, us especially at a time like this. The scriptures say that seek you first the kingdom of God and, and His the, righteousness, and His righteousness, and, and everything else will be added. added unto thee. So we believe we had the word and we came in. We learn, we have been studying, you know, ever since I came in, studying like a baby, you know, just, you know, so we, I believe we do what we have to do. Uh, and excuse we do. me, you said something by the Spirit, you say you came in like a baby, yeah. in which this is the first step, really, the first approach you need to have in coming into this truth, man. If you don't become like a child, which means, you know, on learning every dumb, stupid thing you've learned all your life, exactly. all that's junk, you know, you can't learn anything, man. I always make uh, an analogy with, um, with, with the micro S, whatever, your micro stick or whatever, your memory. If you have files that actually, you know, occupies all the space, there is nothing else you can do to add more files to it. You know, it tells you there is no space, there is no space available. You know, it's just like the same thing in this truth, man. When you're coming into this truth, you need to throw out of the window, you know, all those junk that Esau has taught you, evolution and all that bullshit, you know. 
and start, you know, feeding, start taking the milk like a baby. You know, I just don't want to, you know, skip the lesson we're talking about. But when you said, you know, it was by the spirit, you know. So we're actually talking about, you know, putting your trust in the most high Yahweh Hashem as the brother read, you know. If we humans, we know how to gift our children, then how much more the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? And remember, he has given us different promises, you know. We are going to be his battle hacks when, 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 when the time comes, man. I mean, I have a precept for you. Go. This, is, this is Isaiah 59 verse 1. It says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shutting that it cannot save, neither is ear. Speak on it. Neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear. So it's actually, we are still saying the same thing, you know, what really separates us from the Lord, our power. It's actually the same. This is actually what brought us low to where right. we are today. Our disobedience and our stiff neckedness. Yeah. So, but uh, he, although we are going through all this mess, he have never forsaken us. You know, he still make a way for us because he said that in First Corinthians 10 verse 13 that he will never give us. Uh, uh, he will never give us try um, temptations, uh, temptations that are that, harder for us than yeah. harder than us. So even in this temptation, we still make a way for us. Right. You know, so. We got to trust the name of the Lord, knowing that it is our sin that separates us from our maker, our power. You know, so this is not the time to put our trust in Esau, you know, in the government, which we have not seen. You know, when we come back to this truth, now first thing we'll learn, we'll learn everything. We'll know, we'll see what's going on. We'll see what this man has for us. We'll see how he has been treating us. We'll see his plan for us. So, someone who loves you cannot tell you to come and inject poison inside your body in order for you to live. It makes no sense. It makes I, no sense. You know, I, now we can dictate. We cannot see. The scripture said that the, 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 the man of sin will be revealed. Now we have seen it. You know, we know what is sin. Even Esau, even, even the so-called different nations, they know who the man of sin is right now. Yeah. You know, it's been revealed in all levels, 360 degrees, you know. So, sorry, I just... Yeah, we have been this, uh, Yahusha told us that the, the, the enemy comes to steal, kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. You know, so we see, we see what these people are doing. Can, so, and this is just this is just the stupidity of you know of Jake. You know, just like the, the, the scriptures let us know that you know Jake is a stiff-necked people, sottish children. You know, they, 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 are, they are they are worse than donkeys and asses because these donkeys and asses they know their masters. But Jake doesn't know. Jake, Jake doesn't consider, you know. So, you know, this white man, so-called white man, Esau, you know, national, um, biblical nationality, Esau, you know, we know his, his, his curriculum, we know his CV. Like, if you want to judge someone, you judge someone by all he has been doing, you know. We know that his curriculum is just all of wickedness, you know. Just go all through history. There is never a time that Esau has never done has done anything good. There is never a time, no? Yeah, he yeah. has only killed, stolen, destroyed, you know? And that's just the right description of the devil right there. Now, if you go into the root word of the devil, he tells you Diabolos. He tells you um, a man. Speaking actually of a man, you have the spiritual devil and the physical devil, you know? These devils, the real people that he's speaking about, you know, he says the devil shall lock some of you into the prison. For a period of 10 days which is a period of completion you know is is the spiritual devil going to lock you into prisons no this is the physical devil the so-called white man so this man you know he has carried out all different exper experiments you know exterminating your race you know bringing out um the tuskegee experiment just few few years ago man about 50 or 60 years ago you know don't always done things you know to to kill to destroy and now you still put in your hope on him just because you want that little crumb crumble of bread man the most high yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to destroy such jakes you know who are not thinking because it is also you know the elder apostle gaba always says it's a sin to be foolish man you know it's a sin to be stupid man because you haven't sought from the from the fountain of of life you haven't sought you haven't sought the truth from the book of the law as we've been commandment, commanded, you know? So in order for you to be wise, you know, this book is the only thing that, that gives you wisdom, you know? So those who seek from this book, they get that wisdom and they know what's about to come. They know about the past. They know, they know everything, the promises of the Most High, you know? But those who refuse this book, they are foolish. So it's a sin to be foolish. So those of you Jakes who are foolish, who are blindly, you know, complying to Esau, you know, getting your body injected with all sorts of, of poisons, 
and demonic things that you don't even know about. You know, the most I hear about Shem Yahushai is ready to destroy you because as you've done for this uh, for these Jews, definitely you're still going to bend low for the for, for, for Marcus Aurelius, the MOTB, you know, when it comes out. So the most I hear about Shem Yahushai is going to destroy you. You better start examining yourself. Go. Cool. Yeah, just uh, like I was saying about one of his wickedness, like so many excuses our people give these days that that we have been taking their their vaccine let me just name it their vaccine you know ever since we are born yes we have been taking it but now then we don't know what we are doing our parents lead us you know we are born with like abraham oh, we, we are like born abraham. into yeah we we're born into ignorance man yeah, we are born like, like Ab abraham father was worshiping terra terra was a, Terra, yeah was worshiping idol like was our parents you know so now that we come into these truths we cannot discern we, we are new beings we're being made new yeah all things now have passed away so we can't continue in the ways that we have been living before so giving an excuse that taking these jews because you want to walk you want to continue living is an excuse telling you know giving an excuse that we have been taking this thing then that is like you're seeing that and you are okay with it you just want to go by it so it makes no sense so now we find out that the law, one of our laws says that we should not make cuttings into, our, into flesh, our flesh, the verticals. You know, so Apostle Paul said that we establish the law. You know, we know that we can't be saved by law in this time. We will say by grace through our law, Yahweh Shai. So, but that does not give us uh, the go guarantee, ahead. Uh, the go, go ahead to continue abiding in sin. in sin because we know that we'll say, no, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. just like we said earlier, the book of Romans is it 432. He says, For the wages of sin is dead, yes, but and the gift, and, and the gift of the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is eternal life. Yeah. So you know, you this to... truth, which is a gift, is eternal life. This is yeah. what's going to direct you to eternal life. Exactly. All that Esau has to offer you is debt. And we're saying this because, you know, we started by saying that we, the brothers here in Italy, you know, we've actually given up our jobs. We've given up all these things because here in Italy, if you don't, if you don't have the juice, you cannot, you cannot walk. Okay. You can't even enter a train. You can't even bus. take. You can't take a train. You can't you take a locally, bus. Before, local, before it was long international, distance. International, yeah. Long distance. You can't go from here to, like we normally go to. You can't even do like 10, 10 kilometers in a train. You know. Yeah. So you need to have your car. You know. So if you don't have the juice. So you see, we are actually being pushed into a strait. Yeah. But yeah, you know, we don't really care. We're happy because the scriptures let us know that when you shall start seeing all these things, look up and see that salvation is closed, man. Of course. This yeah. is the attitude you all should be having now, you know. This is not the time for fear, man. The, just like you read from the book of El Ecclesiastes, is it Tre? You say there is a time for everything. There is a time to gain and a time to lose. Exactly. There is a time to gather and a time to, you know, to let go. You know, there is a time to plant and a time to reap, yep. you know. This is the time that in which you need to start, you know, doing things the way you have to do it, you know. If Being you, more you spiritual. Can. You know, because the scriptures, to this word, it's all about Sorry, the scripture also lets you know that um, if any part of your body, you know, is going to prevent you from getting into the kingdom, if your eyes or your arm, you should, you should cut it away, man. Exactly. If there is anything that is going to prevent you from, you know, getting into this final kingdom that we're about to get into, which is our main goal, which is our career, man. You should cut that thing off. Either it be a wife, either it be a job, either it be a mother, or a brother, or a sister, or a cousin, man. Fuck all that thing, man. Yeah. So, you know? Because the scripture still lets you know that either, you know, that love is mother, is brother, is sister, you know, is not worthy, is not worthy of my kingdom, you know? I'm just paraphrasing, you know? Yeah, so, the, hey, you know, these are the times that you really need to, because Esau, what he does, he, he comes with, with, with subtlety, just like Yahweh Shai was tempted, you know, at the time when Yahweh Shai fasted 40 days and 40 nights, you know, he came to him in the, in the period when he was hungry. He said, I'll offer you this, you should turn the bread into, uh, you should turn the stone into bread, you know. So, these devils, you know, the spiritual devil is definitely going to be working with his counterpart, you know, the physical devil, which is the so-called white man. You know, now they will want to offer you everything, you know. And we were saying in the video before it cuts when we were out on the streets, you know, that many brothers are actually finding jobs now, you know. They're taking opportunity of what's going on because here in Italy, lots of people are working, you know, and they don't want to take this, um, the, the Vanessa juice, you know. So they left their job. So there is a lot of, you know, job opportunities now. So Jake, stupid Jake's are really happy. Oh, now we can get the job that we want. 
Jake that's been sitting in the house for two years, three years without a job now finally gets a job and is happy about it, you know. But he needs to get juiced up to get that job, man. This is foolishness, man. My people are foolish, man. They don't consider. Yeah, Sorry yeah like speaking. he was saying, the devil cannot do good. The scripture says that, actually, let me get it. This is Sirach uh, 14, verse 7. And if he does good, he, he does do it, it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Can. And that's just letting you understand that if these devils do any good, remember that they're doing it for a purpose. Yeah. You know, that's just what the scripture is saying. They do this wickedness. Well, if they do any good to you, it's just like a trap. Yeah, if you want to catch trap. if you want to catch a rat, you can't just put a trap without doing any good to that rat. You know, you put a piece of cheese on it, you know. That's you're doing a little good, but at the end, at the end, end, end of the whole thing, you know, your main motive is that to capture the rat, you know. So Esau puts a cheese on his trap for us. So, you know, crazy people who don't really consider, they see the cheese and they're attracted to the cheese and they go and once they get close and start eating the cheese, all of a sudden, boom, you know. That's how Esau operates, you know. So, hey, you know. If you if you still have much more because you know I think we should just cut it now and you know you can yeah, say oh, this is one I would want to bring the scripture that yeah, yeah, bring out the scriptures you a, want to bring out a, now a man falls will be of his heart of his household yeah and that's what we're saying he saw he saw has finally succeeded in in dividing the people you know he has succeeded in dividing people in their houses he has succeeded in dividing um, everything man you know so you should know judgment is really at the corner. You know, what's that scripture you gave me the other day? You said, um, you gave me a scripture the other day and it was a really beautiful scripture. Um, that's Proverbs 22, 3. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. You brought the scripture out some days ago. I'm ready for you. Go. This is Proverbs 22, verse 3. A prudent man foresees the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Can. The prudent man foresees the evil and he hideth himself. Okay, we see there is evil right at the front, you know. We see that this, um, this good looking cheese that Esau has put, you know, will go back to normal, will have a better economy, will have this. We see that that cheese, there is something, you know, just thinking about that cheese, you know. It's a corrupted cheese. So we avoid, we avoid that cheese, man. But the stupid ones are going to see that cheese. They go after it and, oop, boom, they get caught up in a trap. Just like fucking rats, man. Yeah, you know? when, when this thing is coming out, they told you that, oh, don't worry, we're going to get you vaccine. Now, they finally, the thing is finally out. Now, they are telling you you're going to get the second one. From the second one, they're telling you you're going to get the third one. Over here in <laughs> Italy, they started taking the third, the third portion, you know. They started taking the third portion, you know. So, and the foolish ones, they are really going to fall for all these things, you know. But the wise one, they see all this evil that's ahead and they avoid it, you know. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall abide under the shadow of the, of the Almighty. Yep. You know, he said, 10,000 shall fall at our right hand, ten, another thousand shall fall at our left hand, I and shall nothing come shall night come night or night that are, are dwellings, you know. This is the power we put our trust in, you know. That same power that fed, you know, Eli Elijah in the wilderness, you know, using, uh, 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 what's the name of that bird? Raven. A raven to feed him you know, and providing water for him, you know, that same power that fed the sons of Israel with manna in the wilderness, you know, that fed them with clothes and manna, you know, that same power that have always been, you know, that same power that divided the ocean and let their enemies perish in the, in the middle of the Red Sea, that's the power we put our trust on, you know, and his name is Yahweh, and the name of his son is Yahweh Shai, okay, so hey, this is not the time you should stop being afraid, you know, or feeble-minded. For the most high Yahweh, Hashem Shai hasn't given us a spirit of fear, you know. For we are more than conquerors, you know. The most high Yahweh, Hashem Shai has given us, you know, a spirit of a warrior, man. You should be in your, mo your warrior mode right now, you know. So this is what it's all about, you know. We hope we've 
we've exalted, you know, if you have any other things to bring yeah, out. Like you know? what you just said now. This is uh, Second Timothy. But let me start from two. He said, And the thing that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to 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 faithful men. Faithful men, yeah. Who shall be able to teach others also? Then three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Can. No. But the people don't want to endure hardness, man. The people just don't want to suffer. They don't want to go through pain or anything, you know. And you know in this in this kingdom of Esau, you can't gain anything without going through pain, without paying any sacrifice, you know. The same thing comes into this truth, man. Nothing good comes that easy without any sacrifice, without pain, you know. Yeah, let me read this last one. Go on. This, this is verse 4. It says, No man that worries a tangle himself with the affairs of this life, Can. that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Can. No man that, that goes into war entangles himself with thoughts of this life, man. If you're fighting a war, you can't be thinking of how to pay your bills. You can't be thinking of what you're going to eat or whatever. You make sure you get yourself, you know, secured before you can even start thinking of all these things, you know. This is warfare, man. Yeah. This is warfare, man. Yeah. This is a spiritual warfare. The scripture tells us that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places, man. This is war, man. So, hey. If you have any other thing to add, you know, and, you and can... you know, when, when soldiers are being at war, they don't do business. They don't have business in their mind. They war because, is business. Because they don't even know if they will make it through the next hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> so, he's, uh, Jake is actually at war now. And this is the time he, Jake is really happy, you know, the war going on. And he's thinking of how to make some money right now. How to invest, foolish man. He doesn't even know if he's going to be alive. If the most I about Shemi Al Shai will spare his life in the next hour, you know. This is how Jake, how foolish Jake is, you know. So anyway, you know, if you don't have any other thing, we should close. Right. You know, we hope this lesson was edifying. You know, we've actually, you know, done the lesson on the street. You know, we spoke, I believe, up to a hour or even more without knowing that the, the recording actually stopped so you know we just wanted to conclude the lesson you know by doing this short sit down and hopefully it was edifying through the spirits you know would like to give all praises to the most high yahawa bahashem yahawa shai bahashem Kodash. our double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who told us the truth which is the hundred percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth risking their lives you know, pushing this gospel in these last days. Hey, stay strong for salvation is closed, man. Stay strong, shall salvation is closed. You know, this is the time to man up, you know. We have a war to fight. And, you know, Yahabah Shem Yahu Shai Ratazah. It's already written, you know, we are going to be successful at the end of this war. So, Shalom, on to the next one. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom.